Hey Gemini, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through these messages. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So April 2022, Gemini, Cross Watchers, this is for you, wherever you have this placement in your chart. Um, very general messages, so please keep that in mind. It might not entirely resonate for you. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person, okay? Be sure to come back and watch this video, you know, like mid-April, in April as well to see how things play out for you, okay, Gemini? Um... The first song I got for you guys is Gonna Love Me by Tiana Taylor. All right. It's giving, I was picking up on the energy of um, making amends, kind of like reconciliation or making peace with someone. I feel like you want to make peace with someone, Gemini. I feel like this person also wants to make peace with you. It feels very mutual. Okay. So maybe some things were done or said in the past, you know, out of anger, or just things that you really didn't mean. But it's something about realizing that you and this person, you know, love each other, care about each other and want to be together even if it's not a reconciliation that that leads you back to being together although we got courtship here okay um for some of you guys you are getting back together with this person but maybe you just want to clear the air you know maybe you just don't want that negative energy between you two okay this person is definitely thinking about you you thinking about them um so yeah it's the energy of that all right um and then the next song was do i ever by tone stith and chris brown okay and that is a remake um you know at the beginning it's the brian mcknight version that comes on when you hear the song so do i ever cross your mind okay so first we have the the feminine energy tiana taylor who is kind of you know admitting her faults her wrongs and kind of waving the white flag here and then also the masculine energy wanting to know do i ever cross your mind it's like a equal i feel like you're equally um you're missing someone and they're missing some they're missing you just as much okay so some sort of reconciliation maybe you're talking things out maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while some sort of clearing the air is coming on um it's coming um, for you guys, I just saw the false person and I, I see the imprisonment card. Okay, so um, I don't know, maybe there are a lot of secrets that held you guys back, or maybe neither one of you were willing to be vulnerable or be open and honest or communicate because I'm getting communication. Okay, um, you are ruled by Mercury, Gemini. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with another Gemini. Okay. Uh, maybe you're married to this person lover's card which is also gemini energy family room occupation it's like if this is a marriage or a relationship for you guys you're wanting to work on it and of course this is for the the collective of gemini's who want this energy okay um who want to manifest this person back for some of you this was a long-term connection for, for others of you maybe this was just like a petty disagreement or something like that like it wasn't that serious so um let's see what comes out we're gonna pull from the kipper deck and then the energy oracle deck and then it's a row for extra messages go ahead and like the video you guys comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more i actually push your energy in these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you family room yeah there's a family coming back together are you making amends with someone in your family okay even if it's not like a family you built with this person even if it's not a significant other here this is balance coming to your home okay if you're worried about anything in regards to your home your family your children this is balance that's coming for you guys the number three could also be significant or the 21st of april is significant for you too okay um hold on one second gemini all right sorry about that gemini's um but yeah, this is something coming full circle with your home, okay? Home life or family here that's working out. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the child card. So yeah, something definitely involves maybe children um, or maybe a new start in the home. Maybe to talk about wanting children or having a new start, okay? Somebody could be moving in, all right? Um, we also have pathway here. Yeah, so this is more so a birth of a new creation, okay? It could be an actual child or con conception of a child. But with the child and pathway and great fortune here, um something here is looking up but i do feel like there was some sort of separation or despair okay concern journey like somebody's worried about you leaving them or you finding new or something like that okay something is snapping somebody back into reality or it feels like both of you guys maybe it was a separation y'all figured out it was nothing out there okay for you um this could also be a child if you have like you know older children coming back to the home um 
um, making amends with a parent, okay, whichever end of it that you are on here. So it's, it's just giving reconciliation of a relationship. I do feel like it's romantic for a lot of you guys, but for others, there's some sort of child parent dynamic, some sort of home situation, some sort of family relationship, and it's mending. It's like healing in the home. So, um, I love it. I love it. So let's see. Energy deck for the Gemini spirit. Broken heart. Oh, look at it's mending. It's mending of the separation, mending of a broken heart, mending of something that fell apart. Gemini, you know a lot better than what I know it to be for you. Okay. Um, if you're feeling drawn to, go ahead and book a personal reading. All the uh details is in the description box below. But it's mending of this broken heart, okay? It's some sort of coming back together. Maybe this is somebody you haven't seen for a while. For some of y'all, this is somebody getting out of prison, okay? Somebody's being released from prison. It can be any type of family member or anybody you deem to be family, blood or not, okay? Um, but we have man holding a coin, third chakra, and balance. For a lot of you guys, if this is romantic, this is somebody showing up for you. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, anxiety. Like somebody does not want you to worry. And it's crazy because... Um, yeah, you're walking away from this broken heart. I feel like kind of as a collective energy, it's just the energy of people showing up, okay, for you, you showing up for yourself, you know, you showing up, people are just showing up. People are kind of putting things behind them. They're letting go of the pettiness, the drama, like it's just not worth it anymore. All right, women holding the heart. Okay, if you were holding back from this person for whatever reason, they were holding back from you. It's just like, I'm hearing the point of it all. Like, the point of it all is that I love you. So, hashing out difficulties, um, this, uh, um, this uh, uh, agreements with people, okay? First chakra, door to spirit, starting over from the ground up. This is your first chakra, door to spirit, and a magician mending the hot and the cold. Mary, maybe you and this person are very different, okay? Maybe your air and their fire or your air and their water or something like that resonates for you. Messages for my Gemini spirit. What's going on with the energy for April 2022? Ooh, wee. And I just keep, I can't get that do I ever cross your mind um, out of my head. So, yeah, walking away came right back out. All right, let's see. Cornucopia here, okay? And I feel like you might have walked away. This other person might have walked away, however it resonates for you. But you never fully detached. Like, you never stop caring, okay? Um... You never stop caring or there was always the thought in your mind of what if or something like that. Okay, cornucopia is here though, happiness. And then we have woman holding a coin. We already saw the man holding a coin, okay? So it just really feels like mutual marrying energy here. Hostilities, you walked away because of, it, because of the fights, the arguments. Y'all couldn't see eye to eye, okay? Both of y'all wanted to be right or something like that. But with cornucopia and the pathway here, there's um, something, it's like um, an opportunity to make things right with someone, Gemini, okay? It's, um, it's popping up for you guys in April, all right? Could be with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Again, we got the woman holding the coin. Um, and we have the heart chakra. This is where your heart is at or this situation, this person pulls on your heart strings or it's something about love conquers all, okay? Or bringing love into the situation. Like nothing else even matters. Y'all both are realizing or maybe you're just realizing, you know, in regards to anything else in your life that all that extraness is not worth it, okay? So love conquers all. Second chakra here. This can be tied to some sort of childhood trauma, childhood person, somebody you grew up with, okay? Um, it's all about your wants and desires, and it's all about acting out of a, um, a childlike mentality, being free, okay? Untainted, you know, just being optimistic, um, using your imagination. You guys are very creative people, Gemini, and I feel like you're getting back to that softer side of yourself, okay, in regards to just self or some sort of relationship with someone, um, and decision all tied up. Yeah, you're ready to let go of questioning things. It just feels like you just want to be free. You want to be bliss. You want to be in love. You want to have good relationships, good partnerships, good family dynamics. Um, and you're acting on it or someone else is opening the door for that type of healing for you guys this month. Okay. Or healing childhood traumas, things you go through and never really talked about. It just feels like you're releasing, like you're ready to be free. You're ready to be loved and you're just ready to not allow anything to hold you back from that self-love or that love with anyone else. Okay. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles working together. Okay. Now things are working together. You and this person could get along. Okay. Work or business is looking very good for you guys as well. Yeah. Judgment card here and the sun card 
are. You are making the judgment to be happy, okay? Look, and the Ace of Cups. Your cup is overflowing. If there was some sort of grudge being held between you and someone else, that's going to be taken care of. And it's like you guys are just choosing love, okay? Or you're choosing to forgive and move forward, to accept what happened in the past and move forward, okay? Death card, the transformation. It's just been too hard for you to hold on to this hurt, this trauma, this burden, or it's been too hard for this other person. And they are realizing that they just want to let go of whatever was, okay? Um, queen of wands so you can be your best self so you can be this queen of wands the world card okay you are making the decision to like to heal it's healing it's definitely healing on either this is a personal level okay this is in regards to your partnerships all right or both spirit who or what is coming in for my gemini's april 2022 april 2022 spirit who or what is coming in for the gemini collective or cross watchers all right, y'all. So let's see. Just feels very peaceful. Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords. What about the Five of Swords? Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody's realizing they don't want to let you go. It feels like very stubborn energy, petty energy. Okay, but it's not worth it. The Devil. Okay, you could be dealing with the Capricorn here. The hangman, okay? Maybe somebody has some sort of obsessions or toxic ways that they had to get over, mature, and work through. Maybe dealing with the Pisces here, but they thought about it, okay? Or you thought about it, and now you want to make things work. Now you want to move forward with a magician, all right? You could be moving towards a Virgo or another Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. If you were stuck, if you were just... It just feels very like a grudge has been held here or just no movement has happened in this situation this relationship this dynamic here okay which is very toxic here both of y'all were being very toxic towards each other but it's like a new perspective that's coming here magician will of fortune you don't want to be in this energy anymore five of swords you don't want to you don't want to resent someone they don't want to resent you or you don't want to resent the past it's just a lot of letting go and releasing you just don't want to be in that energy okay prince of swords which is the page of swords okay you want to hold on to some sort of stability or fight for some sort of change or stability here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is work, working on. I feel like a lot of y'all have been working on your shadow side with the devil. Okay, you've been working on better, bettering yourself or letting things go. Whatever this attachment is for you that's been holding you back. Okay, um, working on being better, Gemini. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. And the high priestess, a lot of Pisces energy showing up here. The hangman, okay? The high priestess clarifying the hangman. So the hangman is you've done the work, okay? You've thought about things. You've processed things. You see things differently. You've learned. You've healed. Things like that. And the high priestess is knowing, okay? So now you know. It's like you know better here, okay? Or you're acting out of your intuition. You're not really acting out of lack mentality or fear or childish or pettiness or anything like that, okay? Um, but someone is, de is determined to kind of come get you or something to hold on to you okay ten of wands you're putting down the burden okay you're putting all the bags down i'm hearing bag lady now the song bag lady um you're letting it go ten of, you are letting this go okay you're moving on to something new could have whatever this devil was was holding you back it, i feel like it was mentally like you've been mentally stuck on a situation mentally stuck thinking a certain way about something about someone and it's like now you are just cutting the cord with this page of swords you're ready to let it go yeah it was something that you just keep replanning your past maybe you were holding on to a grudge or something maybe it was past connections that's been weighing you down yeah fights chaos deception competition people trying to tear you down okay seven of swords king of swords but you've gained some sort of mental strength over this two of wands two of swords you're choosing peace okay whether this is peace with yourself or peace with someone else specifically gemini you are choosing peace and that's the best look on you and for you so i'm gonna leave it here um don't forget to comment below letting me know how this resonates for you like share subscribe book a personal you guys and i will see you next time